And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Lee. That's right, we got a donation deck to play another Lee Sin deck, this time with Lulu. So we're going to need to have allies out with Lulu so Lulu can support. Um, but then we also want to have a lot of spells, of course, because we want to have a lot of spells for Lee Sin. All right, so we're co combining those two together. And so uh, what really works when combining those two together is gems, of course, because gems with Mentor the Stones and Gift Giver, they can be bodies that, that are good for Lulu and uh, having bodies in play for support. But then whenever Gift Giver enters, it gives a gem for you. Whenever Mentor the Stones uh, dies, it will give, give you three gems. So those work really well. Then we got some, some good spells that will draw some cards so we don't run out of cards too quickly. Flower Child's going to be a great one to support early. That's going to be like the card that we want on the end of these chains. It's perfect there. Zenith Blade, awesome. This is going to be giving Overwhelm to all of all of our things that we're supporting and making a lot bigger. Overwhelm's amazing with Lee Sin. And, you know, can be amazing with Flower Child and just other things that we uh, support with Lulu for sure. Because we want to level up Lulu. Once Lulu levels up then getting a help picks every single turn is amazing and also amazing with Lee Sin. So we really want Lulu to level up in our deck. A couple of fuzzy caretakers here also. Um, good to both support and uh, be supported. And the support give my ally plus three plus zero can be clutch with Lee Sin, giving Lee Sin the plus three to make uh, Lee Sin be able to challenge larger things, dragon kick even more damage to the enemy nexus. All right, so let's give this a try. We're going to play some Lulu Lee. So played all sorts of Lee Sin decks yesterday, but did not play this one. So we're going to have this. And then we're going to be doing the Welcome to the Jungle, which is going to be the new lab. Been hearing some great things about the brand new lab, so we're going to be trying that out right after this video. All right, playing against Deep. So we want a good curve against the Deep deck. We don't want spells. We want a good curve <clears throat> even though the pill cascade i could see keeping the pill cascade because that's that card is just even though it's a spell it just transcends um use you, you know how that uh needing i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say <laughs> it just transcends give me the stuff stuff make happy <laughs> All right, definitely going Flower Child into Young Witch. Don't think I won't unmake you because I will. Free, is that a familiar frog? Oh my gosh! Go on, Rib. You don't mean to say hello. Hello. Zoom. Attack. <laughs> We can do that same thing. We can go with another. So small, but she ain't lacking courage. Huh. Not sure what they're going to challenge with this. Could see them challenging the young witch. What do you say, Glow? That's yes. Is that a familiar frog? Oh my gosh! Go on, Rib. They have the pretty long voice lines. All right. I don't think they're playing anything that makes playing my fussy caretaker pre-combat bad. Hmm. That was a wonderful card. So like I could I could attack like this. That just makes that a 6-1, and a 6-1 dies very easily to the dredge dredgers. We're just gonna hit him for three. The Isles will bloom again. Again? The spirit gives to those who listen. 
Ouch. Oh, perfect. Okay, no another perfect turn for them. A little luck for those who need it. Starting with Zenith Blade. Right, I play Zenith Blade now. Yeah, they had two brutal turns there in a row, turn four, turn five. They could have Devourer Depths, but I would have... If they could go Devourer Depths on the Caretaker, I have the Pale Cascade to save it now. Um, they would Devourer Depths on the Flower Child, I'm not mad, I just played the new Flower Child. Saving five, taking six. What is gained when we return malevolence? All right, not bad. I need to be able to protect again from a devourer adept. That's why I did that healing right there. We know they're gonna keep on having the best thing they can have. Find another threat. To give this overwhelm to. Don't think I have the dragons that card. Let's see. Yeah, don't think. Let's see what we draw. Breathe in, breathe out. Lulu. Well. So let's see. Oh, come on. And they have had quite a hand. Unless I sacrifice Lulu. Can't imagine it's worth it to sacrifice Lulu, though, is it? A little bit of damage. I don't know, they already killed two elusives. Like, we need to find Lee Sin and give Lee Sin the Zenith Blade. What's up, Lee Sin? All right, no removal over there, please. You've had your quota of Devour of Depths. Now we need a burst spell, I guess. Right? Because we need... We need a way to turn on the Challenger with Lee Sin. 
Um, unless I, and, you know, unless I play this Zenith Blade next turn. But obviously, I would, I would like to go right to attacks. I don't really want to play the slow spell first. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. But I guess that's what we're going to be doing is playing the slow spell first. Ready yourself. Alright, well we need to draw another Lee Sin, but there's zero Lee Sins in our deck because of Maokai. So that's going to make it a difficult proposition to draw Lee Sin, considering there's zero of them. What do you do, Young Witch? What do you do? Do you do anything? I don't think Young Witch does anything. I think they just had the perfect answers in this game. GG's. That turn four, turn five was perfect, and then turn six, seven, and eight, each one a devour the depths every single turn. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I can't. I can't win this. But we're still just gonna gonna get the Lulu animation, maybe. Wow, I won't even let us do that. Won't even let us have the Lulu animation. This deck should not have nearly as much removal. Hopefully. Not expecting that. All right, let's see. Mentor the stones into Lee Sin is good. Um, don't want to keep the two four mana cards. The twin disciplines can protect Lee Sin, but it does it. It does protect at an expensive cost. Um, but I, I do want a spell. Maybe I should mulligan because we'll probably probably find a different spell. But maybe maybe we wouldn't. The journey is Gift giver. These will protect you. There's another spell. What's that noise? Please, I have connections! Gift Giver does match up pretty well against Hapless Aristocrat, because now we can heal. Turn this thing into a 2 2. Yes. These gems grant a wearer common. Whoa, you gotta focus! She's just returning her claws! I've kind of found that I like blocking with, um, kind of like blocking Curse Keeper and just giving them the 4-3 because of, you know, not, not giving them, like, Curse Keeper targets and stuff like that. But I just don't want to this this turn because we're going to be supporting this Flower Child up to be 4 health. I don't want them to have the 4 3. Alright, definitely looks like Curse Keeper. Or just, yeah, or just a 1 damage spell. That's also. <laughs> that's also a thing, but they did use a good amount of resources to take care of my 1 drop. Alright, now plenty of spells for Lee Sin. Which is awesome. Oh, I should deny that. What am I doing? I yeah, that should be a deny. Master 
yourself. Master your enemy. Yeah, I should have denied that. The thing I like about doing this, though, is that I still get to keep a bunch of spells in hand, so that's, um, yeah, I don't have to use as many spells as far as, uh, barrier goes with Lee Sin, right, because, like, you want to want to be able to, like, play two spells for Lee Sin to give Lee Sin barrier, so I like being able to keep some extra spells in hand, with that being the case. You spurn my gift? I don't know if I should really be blocking these Warden's Frays with They Who Endure on the horizon. I really wish I would have denied that, that um, Glimpse Beyond. Alright, heal. Basically, the main reason why I'm doing this is so that, um, you, see that you know, two spells, deep meditation, three mana next turn. Yeah, Nocturne Swain was was definitely pretty good. It, it wasn't like it didn't feel like super super strong, but I think that we we drew well, um, and that's you know that's an important thing in winning games. Of course, we drew pretty well. Six. I will not hold back. Conflict is all in the mind. Patience is underrated. At the dragon will. But we got Hush as far as They Who Endure is concerned, so I'm not too worried about They Who Endure. I gave them priority. Cool, I wanted to see if they would play something... Play something that was better for me to challenge and everything. Let's kill this elusive. Good, I like getting rid of that more. But man, just this is how good Unspeakable Horror is. The one Unspeakable Horror, you know, not only kills something, but then also created a 2-1, which creates a 4-3 a lifesteal and a 4-3 elusive. Unspeakable Horror is pretty sweet. They say I have just as many cards as I do. to play. Okay. Definitely like Fuzzy Caretaker. I will not hold back. And I like I will not hold <clears throat> And I like Young Witch. Yep, we gotta keep digging. Look yeah, we're we're digging, we're looking for the Zenith Blade for sure. Oh, man. 
enemies cannot hide. My lands need me. Center your spirit. This way! Go! Look out for Reavers! I'm just gonna keep the mana. I don't know if this two damage actually matters. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I can still pretty easily one turn. I can still pretty easily one shot them for 10 damage next turn. Injustice must be met with action. Revolution is in the nature of moon and stars. Um Yep. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers be. Yep. Not to me. I will not hold back. Conflict is all in the mind. Act free of doubt. He, um, yeah, he, he bites. So I can hush the Callista and keep Callista from leveling up or play Mentor the Stones. Um, I, I don't think I need to hush the Callista. Yeah, I just don't need to hush the Callista because this isn't doing damage right now anyway. Probably don't even need to play the Mentor of the Stones. Can just keep Bastion available in case for Lee Sin. All right, we're good. I, just, I don't think it matters because we're going to be hopefully killing them this turn. So I don't think that keeping Callista from leveling up matters. Oh, how about that? No! We're gonna finally have our Zenith Blade! Ionia endure. Um, we did, we were just talking earlier about having Cygnus with They Who Enter. Cygnus basically being atrocity. That was pretty cool. Did they, I guess I didn't really check. Do you, do you think they were playing Cygnus? Or do you think that the... Like, do you think they just had Cygnus in their deck, or do you think that they had that created from an unspeakable horror? Because created from, a, from an unspeakable horror, that would be lame, but if they actually had Cygnus in their deck, that would be cool. Okay, yeah, they weren't playing Targon. Good call. Yeah, that, that card's in Targon. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's a thing. So yeah, they just RNG'd it. Thanks, Lou. Or thanks, Potato. Thanks for that donation deck. And, and Yiji, thanks for the kind feedback there from YouTube. Alright, let's keep our Mentor the Stones alive for a little bit. Probably just a little bit. Probably got another way to kill Mentor. They sure do. Just a little bit. Getting rid, of, getting rid of those Vile Feasts can be important as far as getting rid of bar like how uh, Vile Feasts can get rid of barriers. So that could be important later. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. They're so small, but they ain't lacking courage. Hmm. I will not hold back. My lands, center your spirit. That's just gonna be my first spell to play. Set the hooks. 
Alright, so we're going to need to heal this. Conflict is all in the mind. Yeah, plus two, plus one, now it has that barrier. Fortunate, because now how are we winning? All right, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that, that was embarrassing. I thought I had eight cards. I miscounted. I thought I was gonna have eight. This is played over here. Now they have Maokai. It's another game with their stuff lining up pretty well for them. Vengeance from the seas and fury from the blighted lands. Thirteen away from deep, huh? Right now. Gotta do nineteen. Stars. Speak, I say. Whoa, you gotta focus. Listen. And they have Nautilus that gets the block anyway. Trundle, Aurelian Soul. We're going to need to curve out. Guess I'm keeping Pale Cascade. I, yeah, and honestly, maybe we need Guiding Touch afterwards for Lee Sin and everything. I guess we just need to keep these cards. Hopefully draw some units that cost one or two mana. Um, but we do have the, the attack token on turn four, which is good for Lee Sin, so we can... Um, you know, play Lisa and then play one of these two mana cards, and then um, be able to have Lisa and have Challenger. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. In case we need it. It's not very nice. Nine cards, so I still get to draw one. Yeah, instead of attacking, and then they play Weirding Stones, kind of wasted their turn. They're playing Weirding Stones afterwards. So that's good, that's good. We're not going to be able to level up Lee Sin yet. It's going to take a minute to do that. Gift. 
I'm still gonna play Young Witch first. And see what they do. That Flower Child's pretty nice. So they've already cast one Avalanche and they discarded one Avalanche. So odds of a third Avalanche aren't super high. Okay, so Lee Sin's already going to kill the O4. Um, the one problem with playing Sonic Wave is if they... I will not hold back. Is if they kill my Lee Sin, I don't have a backup. Patience is underrated. Our enemies cannot hide. Alright, casting that. Maybe I should have cast it before. I don't know, but I'm just gonna cast it to get a spell for Lisa and to help Lisa and level up. Maybe they play Joyna and they don't have Trindamir. Ugh. It's quite bad. I'll see this through. That is really quite bad. I will not hold back. Basically using my spell mana right now. Lulu. Lulu can probably do something. I don't know, those things are big. Need to kill this infinite mind splitter. They look angry. Oh, you're interesting. All right, they're not getting into combat with the mind splitter, unfortunately. I'll see this through. The dragon spirit awakens. Need to save my other Lee Sin. Challenger on that thing. Puts them down to 12, but then they have um, a really soul man of the next turn. And Hush is always such a beating. I don't even know if this Pale Cascade's worth it. Because I don't know, let's see, what, what can we possibly draw? We could draw another Pale Cascade. <laughs> and Twin Disciplines, and Concussive Palm. So it's a couple of things, okay. I'll see this through. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. The trolls are going to war! Ready when you are. Always ready. Wow. 
So Ice Pillar will give the Lee Sin vulner vulnerable, which is at least good for us. Because, um, you know, we can give Lee Sin a barrier and all that kind of stuff. Conflict is all in the mind. Conflict is all in the mind. I will not hold back. Yuck. Not going to be easy to defeat. Guess I need to keep another mana to hush Aurelian Soul, I guess. I and you, you and me, we'll rule the world. And I thought humans were stupid. I really wish my Lee Sin wasn't just stunned this whole time. My, how they stare. I mean, I can be, I can like hush my Lee Sin, but then it doesn't it doesn't do anything else? It would just be a five five, right? And so it's like, kind of, what's the point? Guessing they're playing the champion spell. Oh, they're just playing that. There's no point in us continuing to play that game. We still survive. All right, playing against aggro. I'm glad that we're playing against aggro because our deck does have some good synergy and it's really good at attacking. But it has seemed like it's. Uh, like too slow for these decks that are going big, right? Like we're we're just playing all three of our losses against decks that are just designed to go bigger than mid range, and they're and that's what they're doing. Their decks are are doing exactly what they're supposed to, and so we're struggling there. All right, I do like this Eye of the Dragon plus Pale Cascade pick off a Spider. Hoping be able, hoping to be able to attack with the Eye of the Dragon as a 3-4 and the Eye of the Dragon not die. Good. Mentor the Stones dying, of course, is not a big deal. But I like this being a 3-4. Now it's time for the Dragolings. Looking for trouble. It found you. So I'm not getting the daybreak bonus. We already have another Zenith Blade in hand that could get a, a daybreak bonus. But that's why I wanted to heal the Eye of the Dragon again also. Be able to make that block. Breathe in, breathe out. It is time. Ideally, I'd be using the guiding touches on. Is 
is ready for a show. I did, I did play two spells, so we got a draggling already. I'm sad I don't get to play the other Eye of the Dragon right here. The dragon binds us. The buffest Eye of the Dragon. I played two spells already, Zenith Blade and Deny. I guess I should have played the other Eye of the Dragon first, because then I would have had that extra spell mana. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I tried. I tried. Okay. So I think that if I... Okay, basically, I think... If, if you're going to be in these regions, just from, from playing the deck yesterday with Tarek and Lee and playing this version with Lulu and Lee, I think that playing Tarek, I think Tarek works a lot better with Lee Sin. And so I think that's where I would go. Because I think that the Lulu does kind of pull away from the Lee, the Lee Sin because you do have to play a lot of support units and a lot of support and just units in general. Um, and the, the Tarek rewards you for playing your spells by being able to copy those spells, cast them again. Um, when you have your, your spells, especially the ones that draw cards, like your Guiding Touch and Pale Cascade. Uh, so yeah, I think I think I liked the Tarek Lee version from yesterday more. But another cool thing, you know, just more cool stuff to be doing here with uh, with Lee Sin. You know, that's that's the thing is we have to we have to try that out ourselves, right? Like you know, yesterday, you know, whenever before we started playing new Lee Sin. Um, if if you would have asked <clears throat> what's better, Tarek Lee Sin or Lulu Lee Sin, I would I would probably would have said I don't know, probably about the same. Um, so it's good it's good to try them out, and it's good to try out the uh, different decks because um, you know gotta gotta find out for ourselves. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the videos. What do you want to see on and you know any kind of decks that you want to see. Um, you know, anything else. Hopefully y'all are learning. Um, hopefully y'all are trying out these decks, doing well with them, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for, for watching some Lulu Lee, and I'll see you for the next video.